and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. I'm excited to get into today's video because today we're tapping in to see what important person is going to come into your life next. Will it be a spouse? Will it be a business partner? Will it be a lover, a mentor? What is their purpose? We're going to see who is coming into your life next. Um, that's going to be very important to you. So my Etsy shop is linked in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. Other than that, pause the video if you need more time with the piles. Yes, you can pick more than one pile. We have group one with the dark blue stone, group two with the orange stone, group three with the pink stone, and group four with the light blue stone. So just take three deep mindful breaths, center yourself, center your intuition, and then pick the pile or piles you're being called to and we're just gonna get started. All right, group one with the dark blue stone. Let's get right into it. What important person will enter your life soon? So the first couple of cards we have under your stone, we have Odin with psychic insight. And then we got courage. I just heard embodiment. So this person in some way is gonna help you fully embody who you are. Courage says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So whatever you're fearful about right now, whether it's standing into your true power, standing in who you truly are, whether it's starting a business, whether it's, it could be literally anything. This person is gonna give you the courage and motivation and the insight to really go there. Um, some of you guys have been struggling to develop psychically. Some of you guys have been struggling to really make progress um, in terms of like getting, you know, to your soul and seeing who you really are. And this person will help you have a breakthrough with that. Uh, Odin with Psychic Insight says your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. I just heard wander as well. Wander. Allow yourself to wander. Um... Allow yourself to see. Try to put less intention in your days off when you're going somewhere. So say you're going to um, you know, a craft store on Thursday because that's your day off. Um, this would be like you allowing yourself, like if something piques your interest, another store on the way or another store on your way home, allow yourself to wander. Allow yourself to wander. Allow yourself to be intrigued and to follow that intrigue. I feel an energy of you guys being led somewhere. And then another card talking about truth. We have Joan of Arc with truth, the voice of truth that says, stand strong, uh, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Some of you guys may be leading a movement. Some of you guys really may have something to share. You've been seeing a lot of people with a certain belief and I feel like it's negatively affecting the collective. You have something to share on that. My mom all the time, she's a married woman and I, I, I be telling her, she'd be dropping knowledge on me and I'm like, you need to get on YouTube. You need to get a platform. She's just not into it. She don't want to do it. But I be telling her like, man, you have some crazy insights to share. So many people think this way, but you have like, so much wisdom and truth in you and i get that same energy with you guys where it's like you have something to share or something to give um or like a belief that you're not fully standing in and this person is going to help you do that so we have diana with uh, focused intention and then Kali Ma with facing fear. I feel like you guys are afraid to step into your true power because you're afraid to offend people or to come across as too much. Kali Ma is a very, she's like a war goddess, you know? She's a very strong woman that wars like a man would, at least in like mythology. So she's kind of got, you know, mixed reviews. A lot of people don't like Kali. They're afraid of Kali. They say that she's evil, but she's a boss and she stands in her truth. And that's why she is a true goddess. So there's things you guys are being called to that you've been afraid to do for a while. This person is going to help you do that. So far, it's looking like not a mentor per se, but this feels like a really good friend. I don't even know how to describe this person. Friend is not the word. It's almost like they're not of this world in a way. They've lived a completely different life than you have and they're telling you, just constantly feeding you with exactly what you need to hear and filling your cup with like the inspiration and motivation to stand in your power. Uh, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So if you really, you know, want to come into some spiritual power, lean into this. Um, Diana with focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. 
I'm seeing like, it really depends on what you want. Let me see if I can get anything else. Yeah, you guys are ready to stand in your power. You're ready to meet your tribe. Um, I am feeling like this romantic undertone here. Um, so that may be something that you desire to be in a relationship, but in order to be in a relationship, you may be watering yourself down. This person's gonna help you stand in your power and help you attract the person that's truly in alignment with you because if you give off this you know like energy like i'm super like submissive and i'm low-key i don't say anything i'm not opinionated your person is going to expect that out of you and you're going to have a power struggle you're not going to be able to experience that love that you want anyway so you was like you might as well just not do it we have loneliness and envy i feel like you guys <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. I want to say tribe. I really want to say tribe. I feel like that's the best word I can use. I know that I am never alone is what it says at the bottom of loneliness. There's an energy here of you guys wanting to meet people who understand you, who are on your same wave. Um, you want a community. It's like you want to get out of the matrix and you want your own community. And I feel like this person is going to help you achieve that in some way. Envy, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So you may be, you know, a, a little jealous or a little envious of other people, how their path is easy, how they seem to find fulfillment so easily. And Spirit is saying you can have exactly that too, but you don't get that by doing what they did. You get that by going within and tapping into your true power, what you truly want, so you can magnetize what's best for you and um consciously that'll speed it up as well and that will allow you to feel that same happiness have that same glow that other people that you may be inspired by have without just being a, a copy of, of of what they got going on and who they are so i see you guys stepping into your power this person is helping you we got the ten of pentacles you may be stepping into a bag too stepping into some coins very fruitful energy very whole um very satisfied you could even be like moving to another country and starting a community um we have the seven of pentacles in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse you guys haven't really felt like you have an important purpose like either in this world or in your city like or you just maybe you feel a bit suppressed by louder people and this person is really going to tap you into your your kali ma your inner warrior your inner your innermost self i see you really stepping into yourself we have the page of swords so you like a year from now two years from now is going to be significantly different than who you are now i see you stepping into your true authentic soul and um the outside world is having like this ripple effect and reflecting the changes within but you've invested so much money or time into your current life that it's hard to throw it away for something that seems unstable or something that's just a concept a desire something in your mind something that you can't see tangibly so it's a hard decision but i definitely feel like you should lean into it we have the six of pentacles in reverse the money that you get is no longer even going to seem worth it so if you're making a lot of money and that's what's keeping you where you are you're gonna you're not gonna feel like it's worth it over time What other messages do you have for group one? I feel like, honestly, with you guys, group one, that's why I said, like, friend is not the right word for it. It seems like a, an archangel or an angel of some sort that has found a body to guide you in. It feels like a spirit guide. That's how this person feels. Um, there's romantic undertones to it, but I'm not getting that confirmation, so I won't say that. I don't feel like this is going to be a lover. I feel like this is going to be a friend, but really like a guide, not a mentor, you know, like the words coming through are so specific. The energy is so specific. It's not a mentor because it's not an earthly person or they really aren't connected to earth. Like they really are from a different star, you know, constellation, whatever. Um, we have in the flow voyage of the heart view from above and wondrous universe. Yeah, this person is causing you to have a heart chakra activation. And also this view from above, like they really have this otherworldly essence to them. Get the big picture at the bottom of view from above. 
wondrous universe says walk in beauty so your world is really going to change and you're going to see it as beautiful because it's going to be a reflection of what you truly want for yourself it's going to be a reflection of who you are inside and you've been wanting to feel that sense of purpose and belonging for so long and this person is going to help you get there voyage of the heart love flows to you and through you so other people are going to find you useful they want you to be a part of the community they see your value and vice versa they're going to be very valuable to you and we have it in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. For someone who's a workaholic and has so much pentacle energy, I feel like that's going to be the hardest part, allowing this to be, allowing the flow to happen without wanting to work, 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 or always be doing something. Allowing yourself to receive, I feel like, will be the biggest hurdle. But that's what I got for you guys. My Etsy is below. If you want a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that was your message today. I'll talk to you soon. Now offering 7-Day Vigil Candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. Alright, group two with the orange stone. Let's get right into it. Who is the next significant person coming into your life? So the first couple of cards we have under your stone, we have growth. And Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene says, teacher awakens, you have something important to share. Follow the inner call, don't let anything stop you. I see you really helping this person and this person really helping you. So we'll see in what way, um, but I feel that already. Okay, so we have growth. It says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Whoever this person is, they have important things to share with you. You have important things to share with them. Spirit, who is the next important person coming into group two's life? Who is this? I just heard a partner. Someone who really um, has the ability to calm you as well. We have the worry and the peace card that came up for you. Worry says, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Peace, is, peace says, I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. So there's this energy of you being kind of afraid but still moving forward. Whether you've been burned in the past by friends and this person is a great friend to you, you're opening up your heart again or in a romantic sense if you know someone has played you or done you wrong, I see this person providing you a lot of peace and understanding and truly connecting with you. Even though you've been hurt before, it's almost easy to open up with this person. Worry, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So this person also just has this way of calming your anxiety. Also, I keep hearing partners. So this person is someone who's going through the same thing that you're kind of going through, maybe in a different area in their life or in a different way. So like, for example, you may be having a hard time standing up to your family. This person may have a hard time standing up to their boss and their management. You know, like you could be going through the same thing, but in different areas of your life. And this person is a great support system, also a really good friend. I you being able to go and do things with this person and then we have the service card so this person is definitely fulfilling a purpose I feel good when I can help others is what it says at the bottom of this card so this is someone who gives you a whole lot and someone you have a whole lot to give to it's like you guys have lived different realities and everywhere where this person doesn't have experience on or need helps needs help with you have experience on and if not it's something you guys are going through together and you're learning together so I feel like this is a really good friend but I keep hearing partner specifically so I don't know why but spirit wants that to be the word to describe this partner you know someone you can really depend on we have a lady Venus with downloads and understanding and then we have the white eagle <coughs> the ancestor spirit so I'm definitely getting a lot of growth happening between the two of you you guys are put in each other's halves to paths to help each other upgrade the white eagle ancestor spirit says connect to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now so i feel like you guys are at this difficult point in your journey where uh, you're trying to heal you're trying to go grow and break some generational curses this is someone who genuinely gets it so it doesn't feel like everything's on your back you know generational curses you know finances whatever you're worried about and you don't have anyone that can share that with you or anyone who understands you know what you're going through this is someone who's like really i keep seeing the handshake emoji where it's just the two hands i keep seeing that lady venus with downloads and understanding truth is being revealed deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm so yeah this may be um dude why is time going like this this is so 
strange to me. I keep getting these parallel timelines existing in the same space though and I haven't gotten that and I feel like a couple of years um but I don't know you guys we're out of time the veil is thin okay it's like but we don't share I don't know I don't know it's like we're sharing a reality somehow with people in different dimensions but we can still see them where we have this common space people you're really gonna you're we're really gonna start seeing as a collective they'll probably tell you it's aliens though that's how they'll they'll squeeze it in that there are other beings walking this earth but it's not aliens like you think um aliens drop down into a body but their consciousness is not from here their consciousness is not from earth I keep getting this like parallel reality energy. I got it with group one as well. And I'm getting it with you guys too, where it's like this person is somehow a part of your lineage, your ancestry, but not in a human kind of way. It's like they're a, a family member um, from a different reality that you've lived in or that you exist in. It's so, it's kind of hard to explain. It's a little, you know, out there, but that's what I'm getting. So we have the Page of Swords and the Queen of Cups in reverse. This person is going to help you heal quite a bit. This person is going to be there for you as you're healing these generational curses. We have the Hierophant in reverse. So this person doesn't necessarily know how to fix your problems for you. They're not coming in to fix your problems for you. You still have to be the one to break that generational curse. But we have the Seven of Wands. So they're 10 toes deep with you, like in the trenches. This is a really good friend, a partner. This person is someone I really do feel from another dimension that you have either existed in or that you currently exist in. And um, they're helping you during your earthly time now. So child, take that with what you can handle. <laughs> we got the five of pentacles in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse. Also, this person is gonna help you um, get rid of anything that's no longer fitting in your life so if family members for an example are what's holding you back this person is going to be there for you during the process of you letting go of those family members so we have the judgment card here the judgment card is an opportunity for freedom it always represents a super important time in your life and with this judgment card being here this person is going to be here through your transition from where you are now to your next life whatever that means for you whether that's your next phase in life whether that's your timeline hopping whether that's through breaking generational curses this person is going to be there for you and you guys really resonate like on the same frequency this person just gets it we got the death card at the bottom of the deck so there's definitely some sort of ending that's happening here we also got the four of wands in reverse this person isn't put in your life to be either in your life forever or as a romantic partner this person definitely serves a purpose and that's for your growth and that's mutually you're gonna help this person they're gonna help you and uh, let me pull some advice or let me just see uh, what spirit has to say let me get uh, one more card or a couple of other cards for you group two spirit any other messages for group two we got a few we got rabia i'm not even going to try to pronounce that one and then we got fatima i'll read what the card says though the one i can't pronounce the joy permeated mother i am my own guru i know the self that never changes exactly so this person is tapping you to your like your soul the part of you that's always consistent that always has to be there in order for you to incarnate anywhere um the queen of saintly women i am in service of divine love i move the way love asks me to move you guys are carrying a generation on your back this may be like a whole generation of people or this could just be your uh family line but there's a lot that you're meant to do in this life but you need support you need support you haven't been able to fully step into your power because there's too much you're responsible for so this person giving you the support is going to allow you to get to the next level because you'll actually have a shared weight uh, the mother of Imams with Fatima, love is my legion, uh, lineage and gratitude is my religion. So I see you guys being of service and this person is going to help you, whatever that means for you, your personal journey, your personal path. So that's what I got for you. My Etsy is below if you want a private tarot reading. That is where you can find me. Other than that, that was your message today. I'll talk to you soon.
Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. All right, group three with the pink stone. Let's get right into it. What important person is coming into your life next? So the first couple of cards we have under your stone, we have Sarunos with life force. And then we have purpose. I just heard invigorating. Something that is gonna be very exciting about this connection. This person may be super high vibe, motivational, energetic, charismatic, um, or very spontaneous. Like they like to be spontaneous. You know, they like to like call you up. Let's, let's go do this, like that kind of thing. Um, okay, so Sir Runos with Life Force says, express your driving passion, sensual and sexual powers are increased. So you're gonna feel very activated and turned on by this person. Purpose says, I know what I am here to do. So let's see, spirit. This person is gonna make you feel like electric. They have a lot of um, personal charisma and power. Like their personal power, it's contagious. For group three, spirit. I'm seeing a lot of blue and green as well. Blue and green may be your favorite colors or significant to you in some way. <laughs> Even the last card that came out is a mix of blue and green. And then we have the blue and green cards, gratitude and loneliness. So loneliness says, I know that I am never alone. So this is someone you can call at any time. You can talk to someone you can really depend on. A lot of times people feel like they maybe have bad friends or people aren't as supportive as they should be. But unless they're a trained like, you know, therapist or mediator, that's not everybody's strong suit, you know, to be there for you emotionally. You know, I have friends that I love and adore, but when I get to crying, when I get in my cancer bag, they completely disconnect and freeze up. They just can't handle it. <laughs> like some people are just like that. So this is someone specifically you can emotionally depend on and that registers to you as a good friend. So maybe that's just something that you need. You should look for emotionally supportive people when you look for friendships, because it's not that people don't care, but it's, everybody doesn't do well with the emotions and the tears and things like that. Or even like the overexcitedness. Some people are more like Squidward lovable but just not with the with the they're not the best interactive like in personal friendships and things like that so anyways uh we have happiness i'm aware that being happy means that i'm on the right path so this person is going to bring a lot of zest to your life a lot of excitement a lot of happiness um and i get an energy of partnership here i don't know if it's romantic or yet not we'll see um but definitely a great friend and i do feel like of the opposite sex or someone who you would be open to dating uh gratitude i'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents so i see you having a genuine reason to be grateful through this person you know, sometimes, you know, it's hard to show gratitude, but with this person, they make it so easy. You're genuinely grateful for them. We got Horus with the Cosmic Gateway. You guys may be into Egyptian mythology or you may specifically want to look into Horus. I'm hearing that. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miracles are occurring. That's very interesting. Miracle, sorry, it says miraculous changes are occurring. It doesn't say miracles. It says miraculous changes are occurring. You guys may struggle with, it sounds weird, but being happy, like overly happy. And it's been, it's been harder for you to manifest. Me personally, you don't have to be happy to be high vibe. That's not what high vibe is about. High vibe is about being peaceful, all sorts of things. But um, you guys have really been like kind of bored and struggling to, you know, really be like, ah, you know, happy in your face, that kind of thing. And this person is helping you do that. Also, this shift in your energy is opening a cosmic gateway in which you'll be able to manifest more. So um, interesting how this change in energy is positively impacting your manifestations though. Spirit, show me who this person is. I can't quite tell yet. So far, if I had to say, it kind of looks like a friend, a partner with romantic potential. Um, you're definitely put in each other's life for a reason though. We got the tower card and the hierophant. 
So the Hierophant, all about you know your inner wisdom, all about your purpose, connecting to your innermost self. And then we have the Tower here, which the Tower is infamous for a change, like crazy changes happening here. So it's like this poor, this person in the in the. I can't. I can't talk today. It's like this person in themselves is a portal. They're they're you're kind of like timeline hopping on their back. Just being friends with this person, you may have access to new spaces and things. Um, you know when you meet like a new person or a new friend and they kind of take you into their world. So you end up going to like the places that they go to, places you've never been, and it's like wow, cool. This is a whole new like you know world for me. New people, new experiences, new things that I'm not used to. I see that with this person, but it's almost like vibrationally, but it can be literally. I'm like 50-50. For some of you, it's going to be vibrationally and your world will have a ripple effect and change. Upgrades in car, house, money, abundance, all this sort of stuff, opportunities. And some of you guys, um, it's going to be this person literally taking you to new places themselves. And that's how you're opening the doors to new opportunities and things like that. Let go. That's what I'm hearing. I'm getting 555 energy and 111. You may be seeing 555, 111, 515, 115, combinations of 1 and 5 and, and zeros too I'm hearing. And 7s. Orange. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm seeing like uh, the color orange. That may be significant as well. Someone, your bed thing may be orange or something. Um... But yeah, there's there's definitely a change happening here. And it is going to be in, reflected in your 3D, whatever way that happens for you. We got the Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? A lot of fulfillment you're getting from this person. Still now, I'm not seeing that this is romantic. So I would say that this is a... Yeah, we have the lovers and it, it, it came out like turned down. This person is a stepping stone. A stepping stone and someone who's going to heal you. Someone who doesn't feel responsible for you in your journey. Like someone who doesn't feel like you owe them something just because they've brought you, know, you into new opportunities. But I don't feel like this is a romantic interest. This is like someone who just kind of likes you. Um, they're friendly with you. They like you as a person and they're bringing you into their world or they're causing you to have this internal shift that is changing your world. And then, it, yeah, I get a, I get an energy where this person's in your life for a good time, not a long time. Because we got the five of swords and now we got the seven of swords and the high priestess. So this person was only ever put into your life to show you your true power and who you are and to get you from point a to b they were never there to be like your lifelong friend or lifelong lover so i do see that this person is most likely going to be temporary we got the hair fan and the high priestess you guys that is wisdom and intuition the left brain the lesson the wisdoms mixed with the intuition the spiritual so this person is activating you and activating your life and 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 that's what i see you know connecting you to your innermost your innermost self your life force your purpose um they're a, they're a gateway it may be horus personified through a person i've been getting a lot of that energy lately where it's like these different deities are jumping into bodies and taking over temporarily be careful okay because not every deity is nice or something that you want to take over. But I've been seeing a lot of that lately. I really have. So just be aware and mindful. That's what I got for you. My answer is below if you want a private tarot reading. That is where you can find me. That was your reading today. I'll talk to you soon. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. All right, group four with the light blue stone. Let's get right into it. Who is going to be coming into your life next? What purpose are they going to serve? Who is this? So we have hope and then we have fear. I just heard confidant, someone you can trust. Hope with love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So this person is bringing a lot of positivity and love and light into your life. Fear, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So this person is showing you the reason why you're doing what you're doing. Whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it's be more authentic so that you can attract 
you know, so you can get closer to your soul or so that you can attract um, a, a loving partner that loves you for you, whether it's going for a business, whether it's breaking generational curses, this person is giving you a lot of support, a lot of emotional support. They're, they're, they're that like safety net for you. They're that person that um, really understands what you're going through and is very emotionally supportive. We have Kathumi with the cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer you seek, trust what you know. So this person is not revealing some insight that you are just you like you you're not privy to that you don't know they're helping you they're they're helping you commit to what you've already decided to do whatever it is you're already working on this person is a bridge like they're bridging the gap they're making it so i'm seeing like glue like this person is really keeping you in that frequency of like your your innermost soul as long as possible you may be fighting against your journey and what you know that you're here to do. You may know that you're here to break generational curses or your intention may be to level up in business, level up in life, commit further to yourself. And uh, you haven't been able to do that because you haven't had the support, someone who understands, or you're just one person, you know? So it's like you just haven't had someone who can help you and this person is doing that. I, I feel like you guys have been alone for a while and this person is curing your loneliness. Um, Joan of Arc with the voice of truth, it says, stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. So you're taking on something big right now and this person is helping you. Let's see what else we get. Spirit for group four, who is coming into their life? This person seems like an angel. Wow. You guys are the first card that got a romantic energy so far. <laughs> we got the relationships card. To be honest though, I don't feel like, I don't feel like it may be them though. They may be like a really good friend helping you to commit to your authenticity and helping you get to the relationship that you do want because they're helping you through that journey. Or I see that this person is helping you commit to your authenticity first. And then this naturally develops into something romantic, but I don't feel like their purpose in your life is necessarily, like I feel like if anything, this is someone who you can end up in a relationship with by chance versus that's the purpose that they're in your life for. <clears throat> I'm attracted to those who serve my higher good is what it says at the bottom of relationships. Um, we got freedom, we got trust here. This person is freeing you from the life that you're currently in, the things that you don't like, the things that you've been really working to, the breakthroughs you've been really wanting to have, the things you've been really working to get past, this person is helping you through that. They're bridging the gap between your current timeline or your current life and your new life or your new timeline. Freedom, I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. This person is helping you commit to that. And also being like someone who's really solid, solid in character and solid in like their energy. Someone who's not shaken easily by what the world has going on or by a pitfall. Um, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly is what it says at the bottom of that one. So this person is just really being a really down friend to you. An ally is what I see, an ally health i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul you guys may um start a new diet together like you may go vegetarian or vegan with this person you may meet them um in a keto sense or you know trying to commit to a certain diet raw food diet whatever um you are you also may meet in the gym this may be your gym buddy or gym partner uh denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with truth uh truth and insight of awareness so whatever you've been in denial about this person is giving you a huge truth bomb this seems like an ally and then we have peace like someone you can depend on someone who makes you feel safe and secure i'm a being of love and i release all negative energy is what it says at the bottom of that one so let's get some more from the tarot spirit who is this entering group four's life Ace of Wands, summoning you, someone helping you create your new reality, create your new life. Someone who also has a lot of knowledge. They maybe read a lot of books. They have actionables, like things that you can do to grow spiritually. Um, 
books that you can read that will teach you certain things. They know people, authors, teachers, websites. This person is really tapped in. Whatever it is you've been trying to do or whatever it is you need, it depends on what you're working on right now, whether that's your own authenticity or whether that's starting a business, spiritual development. It depends on what you're already kind of doing, how this person is gonna help you. So if you've been kind of lost in the sauce, I would definitely figure that out first and just make your decision. That way you can know who this is gonna be exactly for you. If I had to say, I feel like you guys are breaking some generational curses and I feel like authenticity has been really important for you to attract the relationship or the life that you want. So if I had to say, I feel like it's gonna be something to do with those things, but it will, uh, differ depending on what you're working on. We got the three of wands and the ace of wands. So they're not put in your life to fix the problem or to do it for you. You're still going to do it, but they're bridging that gap. Six of swords and the six of pentacles. You may be seeing 606, 616, repeating sixes. Um, this person has the knowledge and information or resources to get you to the next level. We have the death card. This person is gonna be here through this transition. And also that may be like your physical body. If you're going through a transition, you're gonna meet someone that's gonna be a, like a huge support system for you. Someone who's gonna help you in a big way. Wow, and then that's what I was saying before. We got the two of cups. So this could end up being a romantic situation, but initially this is like an angel sent to you in your path, you know? And I don't mean like a literal angel with you guys. I feel like this person is very much so human, but just someone who just has the energy that can help you. Someone who... just has what you need someone that's going to help you bridge the gap is what i keep hearing we got yang so you may uh identify as a divine feminine or you may have a lot of feminine energy this person is helping you with that yang that masculine energy you guys have ideas but you don't know how to make your idea a reality like you don't know what actions you are supposed to take or need to take to get to the next level, to get out of where you are, to get into your new life, this person does. So that's what they're helping you with. But again, there's these romantic undertones that this person can end up being a partner with you. We have co-create that just came out. They're helping you create your new reality. They're not doing it for you, but they're helping you because they have the knowledge and wisdom and the know-how to get you from point A to point B. Some of you guys honestly just need the motivation and somebody who gets it, you can do it yourself. Um, so regardless of what you need, you know, it'll be someone who's going to help you co-create. And serendipity at the bottom of the deck, so a lucky encounter. That is what I got for you guys. My Etsy shop is below. If you want a private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. But that was your message. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one.